so today we're going to work on putting the water heater on the solar electric not solar like we're going to put tubes out in the sun or a tank out in the sun but we're going to actually drive this with electricity generated from the solar panels so let's get started okay so step one turn off the power to the water heater all right we're just cutting the power okay next we're going to run the hot water maybe take a shower do some laundry use up all the hot water that's in the tank i got to hook up a hose to the drain and we're going to drain all the water out of here so i've got the tank draining now through a hose and it'll probably take a while i'll probably let it go for an hour or so get it all drained out all right so next i'm going to start on the top element so i'm going to take this top cover off i got the top cover off this is the top element and I just want to check the voltage across here, make sure it's off. And it is. That's good. So I can take these wires off and then pull this element out. So I got this special wrench. It's an element wrench. Like so. Get all the water out of here. Oh my gosh. Let's see what we got here. Oh man, that's not that bad. Huh. 19 years. This thing's been in here 19 years and that's what it looks like. Not bad. Huh. There we go. Nice and snug. Now we gotta get our wires on. Cover back on. All right, let's start the bottom element. All right, I got it busted loose. Turn it out by hand. Oh, oh. All right, we got some more corrosion on this one. Oh boy, look at that. Yikes. Wow. The ones I'm taking out look like they're a lot better. These are the 45s, these are the 35s. Hoping I can run these off the solar. So I wanted to get something smaller. I could run the 45. But a little easier on it. up okay so the next step is to rewire my transfer switch so that i can get the water heater uh, so that i can switch it from either utility or solar so currently it's on this uh, 30 amp breaker for the utility i'm going to rewire it over to here i have to give up a couple other my other circuits so giving up my dishwasher my microwave uh, these two circuits will come out i'll replace it with this 30 amp double breaker so that'll go right in there and then I'll tie these two together just like this one is so these will throw together because it's a 240 volt circuit so I'm not going to go through the details of that basically I'm just going to pull all this off rewire it and get it set up I have another video on wiring transfer switches if you want the details but so I'm going to get started on that So this turned out to be a little more involved than I thought because I had to get rid of two circuits. I got rid of E and F and then I had to move A and B over to E and F because the wires on A and B are the 
heavier duty wires that come with this transfer switch. So these are heavier duty than the other wires. And that allowed me to put the water heater on A and B. But we got her done, we're moving on. All right, so I just switched the water heater from utility over to solar. And it is pulling about 3,500 watts. Seems to be working. Let's go check it out. All right, so you can see got about 3,800 watts going through this panel here. It's on AB, 30 amp double breaker, and the utility is off. Looks like it's going to work. We'll do some more tests tomorrow when the sun's up. Till then, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.